Hello guys, welcome back to the Rising Tide. I am Kimbi Dalinton and in this video, I will be showing you guys how to implement this uh, in-app browsers, uh, professional in-app browsers in uh, React Native. Now, I know it's been a while since our last tutorial. That is because I have had uh, some personal issues to attend to and I'm back now and I'll be creating tutorials uh, more frequently from now on. So uh, please subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Alright, so for this tutorial, what I will be what I'll be doing is I'll be creating this in-app browser. You know when you visit applications such as uh, Twitter or other social media applications, you find that when you click on a link, the link doesn't take you to an external browser. Instead, it tries to open the browser that it already has, like the default in-app browser. For instance, if you click on a, on, a, on a link on LinkedIn, it's not going to take you out of LinkedIn. Instead, it's going to open the browser inside of LinkedIn. Same with other social media platforms. Now, I'll be showing you guys how to do this today uh, in uh, React Native. As you can see here, I have a React Native applications with two buttons, one that says open in default browser and another that says open in in-app browser. So if you click on the in open in in-app browser, it's going to open the link inside of that uh, project, inside of that uh, expo or so if I check the if I check the uh, status here, you can see I am still inside of expo. So I'm sure you're familiar with this uh, menu, with this uh, screen when you are on social media platform. So you have your share uh, uh, button up here where you click on it. It's going to open some social media, some other applications, third party applications where you can share the uh, link to. You can copy the, link, the URL. As you can see, it's this example.com. Or you have the ability to click on this uh, three dots and you find this uh, menu here where you can open inside your, open in your default browser. This is, this is always going to be the apps the phone's default browser in this case it is uh, open in chrome so if you're using an iphone it will be open in safari so uh this is what we're going to be building in the tutorial so if i close the, the screen and we go back you're going to see open in default browser this one just directly opens your phone's default browser without actually having to open that uh, menu so if i click on it it's going to take me out of my phone and open a chrome application you can see the screen the, the content of this uh, page uh, that is because i'm having issues with the emulator but if i come back you can see it is a different a different application it is a uh, chrome that is open there and here we have back uh, our application so this is what like most companies use to keep their users within the application so that's what that's what i'll be showing you how to implement in this tutorial so stay tuned and uh, please subscribe to the channel all right, so here I've created a blank React Native project with, uh, you can see there's nothing in it. Uh, this is still using React Native with SDK 50. So uh, I will leave a link to create, uh, sorry, a script to create a React Native project or expo application with a custom expo uh, SDK version that you want. Maybe you don't know how to use expo with TypeScript. Uh, you can still use expo 50 or other versions if you decide. Uh, I will be creating a course on expo SDK 52 with the new architecture. So uh, please let me know in the comments if you'll be interested in that content, uh, learning Expo from beginner to advanced with uh, Expo SDK 52 and the new architecture. Alright, so here we have a blank uh, React Native project. I'm just going to first start by creating a component for our uh, screen. So I'm just going to call it App Browser. And let us create that component. So I'll copy this. And in here we'll create a file inside the component folder. We'll create app browser.js and we'll just try to generate the boilerplate for this component and uh, we'll import it here so uh as you can see this is the app uh, browser component so let me uh, adjust the screen for you guys to be able to see uh both the u the ui and uh, the code editor and zoom in a little bit Alright, so the library we are going to use for this is called the Expo Web Browser Library. So I'm just going to open a new terminal and I'll run the command yarn at Expo Web Browser. I'm going to leave uh, the script to install this in the comment section. So you run yarn at Expo Web Browser and you hit enter and that's going to install it for you. I already have it installed, so it's just going to run a bit quicker for me and close. Now minimize the terminal and back here, I'm just going to import uh, that library so i will say import 
I'll import everything as a web browser from Expo Web Browser. So uh, here, we're going to create our, our buttons now just for a demonstration. So I'm going to create the first, I'm going to create the first button and now okay, the title is uh, Open Browser. Let's call it Open In, uh, let's call it Open In App Browser. And the function will be open with web browser. Okay, open and open uh, in app. Open in uh, app. Now create that function up here. So it calls and open in app. It is an arrow function. And I will create the second button. Just going to duplicate this line and I'll call it open in external or just call it open in default browser and then we'll change the function to open in default browser now create the function as well so if I save that all right we do not import the button component so press control space and click on the first one to import it from react native so here we have our two button components so to make it uh, look like uh, what we had earlier i'm just going to come here give it some style uh here just say flex one and i'll set the width to be 100 percent And I'll give it a padding top or padding padding top of uh, say 2030. Uh, doesn't really matter. All right. All right. So uh, we have our two button components uh, being displayed. So uh, now you, you can see the two buttons. They don't do anything. So if you click on nothing happens, that's because we haven't uh, created the functionality that we want to achieve. So we're going to start with the open in in a browser open in a browser so uh, first we're going to create the url so i'm going to say let uh result is equal to await web browser dot open web browser async and i'm just going to pass in the url here by just going to pass the fixed url but for you, you do, this is where you're going to pass the value that you want to redirect to so uh, your own url for your own application this is where you're going to put it so since this is an async, this is waiting, this is awaiting an async. So I'm going to uh, wrap this function to be an async function to uh, remove that error there too. Here we're going to change this to resort, I spell it correctly. Let me lock the content here for you guys to see it. So I will save that and back into our node server. As you click on the button, uh, open this one, open in a browser. As you can see, that's open google.com and here's the status the type is open and so when i click on it again and i close it it's going to uh, exit out of it so uh, this is how you create the in-app browser functionality so everything just comes with it with the, with the package so you have the ability to share copy the link share with all your social media with other with third party uh apps you can close it and you have the ability now to open in your default browser which is uh Chrome in this case you can do desktop site if you want so that is everything you need to know for for that now in case you want to take the user out of the app to uh to an external browser to their default browser uh let us implement that so down here where it says open in default browser first we're going to check if we can actually open uh the the url so i'm going to say for linking and say if you can open url uh for this for this case i'm just going to pass in the url here as a parameter so i'll pass in the url there and give it so if you can open the the, the url i'm just going to say you get if the url is actually supported if it's not supported you can lock an error and you close exit out of it and if it is supported then you will open that uh url with open url and that's how you open it so this is just going to uh, open it in within your default browser so 
uh, down here we're just going to catch any exceptions that uh, are thrown from this process so I'm just going to catch any errors uh, catch if there's an error and then we just log the error or rather we warn the error it says error and then pass the error so uh, let's pass in let's give it a url down here so i'm going to create this as an arrow function and give it a url in this case i'll just say uh https example.com so that is everything you need so if i click on open in default browser that is uh, supposed to take me out of the application and open the phone's default browser for android like i mentioned for android it is chrome for ios it will be safari so that is everything you're going to need to create a professional browser or a link experience in your application so uh, thank you guys for watching to the end uh, please subscribe to the channel like i earlier mentioned i will be creating content more frequently now so please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you